friends, I'm Akash. Hope you're doing good. I'm going to get a new periodic table of the elements poster. The reason why? These spaces have been filled. Last week, the November 30th of 2016, four new elements have been added into the periodic table of elements. Those elements with atomic numbers 113, 115, 117, 118 have finally given official names. Those names are Nihonia, Muscovia, um, uh, Tennessee, and Organesson. Um, those are what we're going to talk about here in this video. So, first of all, I want to tell you that, um, atoms that are, oh, whose, um, mass, whose atomic number is over 92, uranium. Um, then, the, it would be, the nucleus would be bigger and then it would be unstable. Then it would radioact. So, which means it would be very hard to synthesize these four uh, elements. And so, we're going to talk about it, um, which means, which is that scientists um, synthesized these four elements by colliding lighter elements in a machine called the particle accelerate. So now, here it is. So the first element, or element 113, which has to be there, is called Nihonium. Now, this was um, created, this was synthesized by Japanese scientists, which comes to the Nihon part of Nihonium. Nihon in Japanese means land of the rising sun, a reference to Japan. Um, and we see that um, the Japanese scientists created Nihonium from, uh, from colliding bismuth ions with a beam of zinc ions. And then Nihonium. So, and its symbol is NH. Now, moving on. It's time for the second one, or what I call um, element 115. Right there. And that is Moscovium. Symbol MC. So, you can see MC, um, it's created by Russian scientists. And, of course, Moscovium, the Moscovium name comes to Russia. And it's, it's because it, the name honors is in honor of the city of Moscow, Russia. Yeah, you get the idea. And so, uh, Moscovium is formed by combined was formed by taking some americium and just beaming it into the particle accelerator with calcium. Forms. Moscovia. Now, on to the third one. Well, maybe not. Uh, because actually, Scott, I know Scottish people will be very happy about the ending on, on MC because uh, Mac, Mac. Mac, MC, is, the, is a very popular last name in Scottish. In Scotland. Yeah. And so, now it's time for the third one. Element 117. Has, is now called as Tennessee. Symbol TS. And you can you get the idea. It's named in honor of the state of Tennessee, United States of America. And um, it and it is created by taking some calcium, moving it in, and then Colliding it in the particle accelerator with berkelium. Number nine, side. And also, you can see the 
ending is in I N E I N E I N E I N E I N E fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, acetine, now tennessee. They're all in the I and E, which will be the same except it's O and for the next one. Find it out. And now it's time for the fourth one. This sounds kind of odd, but you'll find out what it is later. It's called Agonessin. The 118th one. It's called Agonessin. Anyway, Agonessin, the name is in honor of Yuri Agonessian. Not to be confused with Yuri Gagarin. You know, the first man to travel into space. Uh, so it is in honor of Yuri Agonessian, a scientist. This also makes the element the second ever element to be named after a person in which the person is still alive when they named it. The other one being Glenn Seaborg for Seaborgium. So, Seaborgium. And you can see, Organessin comes in. It's in group 8, that's where it falls with the noble gases. And um, it, every single noble gas other than helium actually, see that? It actually ends in O-N. Like neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon. We get it. Organesson. Organesson. And organesson is formed by taking some California, shooting it right into the particle accelerator, and to and with some calcium. That's organesson. Also, I forgot to tell you. Here is the symbol for organesson. O G. Organesson. For OG, the first two letters. Organesson. Very simple. And, yeah. So now, I can tell you something. Now, we, period 7 of the periodic table has is now complete. Which means all those others from 119 and above would come up in group 8. An upcoming group in the periodic table of elements. So... What my thing is, so what I think is, even if I know that it would be very hard to create those um, elements which have, which is more, whose atomic number is more than 92, uranium, and it, that means it would be unstable and that would, could just radioact if we did that. But my thing is, not, well, I say that even if I know that, um, about uranium and 92 would get unstable because of nuclei and I would say that um, scientists would still be able to get into group 8 and over and still get the IUPAC, International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, get the IUPAC to um, approve these and then get it into the new row and let's try to get the row A complete. So 2016. Finally, we finally got a new row complete full of elements. So yeah, right now it's it's like dinner time already, and you know I'm feeling kind of hungry. So I'm thinking of what idea to do. Yes, I got the perfect idea. How about reacting Moscovium MC that we talked about, which was this one, 150, with Dermstatium, TS. And we merge it together in the particle accelerator. Let's see if we get MCDS. Well, McDonald's. Are we able to do that? Well, but it says that we have to wait till the scientist um, think that they can do it, and when they do it, they can form a new element. Let's see if that comes up. So we may create a new element if we converge those, but I don't think I'm able to do it now. I know that we have to wait for scientists to see if they can come take take Mosco Moscovium and Dermstatia and turn it. Let's see if we can get MCDS. I mean, it's funny. Anyway, um, alright. So, stay tuned for more videos. So, yeah. Um, have fun. Stay tuned.